Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Tottenham Hotspur have confirmed the signing of Richarlison, the forward, the Brazilian forward from Everton, for a total of around $60 million, going up to $72 million in add ons and um, uh, other fees. This is a huge, huge buy for Tottenham Hotspur, who um, have really needed a backup forward for quite some time, a reliable one in the Premier League. Um, Bergwijn has not lived up to his uh, abilities. Lucas Moura has been all right, but nothing special in the Premier League. I feel like the only person who has is Vinicius, of course. He really proved himself in the Europa League, scored a lot of goals, did pr pretty much what we brought him in to do. Yeah. But with Richarlison, we're paying $60 million for a very, very good Premier League proven winger slash forward. Um, he has been in the Premier League since 2017 when he joined uh, Watford from Flumine, Flumin, at, Fluminense. Uh, in, at Watford, he scored five goals in 41 appearances before moving to Everton in July of 2018. Uh, where he scored 53 goals in 152 appearances, including helping Everton get the great escape from relegation just this past season and stay up by the literal skin of, hit their, teeth, of hit their teeth. He's also had 36 appearances for Brazil and has scored 14 goals for Brazil. And he's also played for their uh, youth teams. Yep. He is just 25 years old, so not yet in his prime. Um, which is important. Of course, Brazilian, he is a right-footed foot, uh, right -footed player. Um, positions, he can play really anywhere along the front three, can't he? Yeah, he can play striker, he can play winger. I feel like where he's the st where he's meant to play is kind of striker, but I feel like he's stronger left wing, right wing. Um, probably more comfortable on the left, cutting inside. Of course, you want to play the inverted wingers. Um... I guess he can also play attacking mid, but that's not used in our formation, so we're not going to need that. But I feel like the main place is backup striker for us. That's what we're bringing him. Or winger. Him. He's probably going to work. Yeah, or winger, but I think we're good on that. If we need him, he'll play winger. But he's going to be in the Champions League we, a lot. We know that. Yeah, well, This is something he actually really, really wanted. That's the main driving force behind his move to Spurs, is that Champions League. Which, those... That clutch to get Champions League, it may not be a... Well, it is a huge difference. Fifth and fourth is a huge difference. But the difference is not as clear as you immediately see it until you get into the transfer window. And you start seeing, oh, Ivan Paris is wants to join Champions League. Uh, who else have we signed? Richarlison wants to join because of Champions League. Yves Vesuma wants to join because of Champions Everyone League. Everyone wants Champions League. Yeah. So that's that's a very important factor to have because it inf it instantly boosts the value and the rating of your club to players who are looking to get a transfer into the Premier Ch Champions League, which is literally the best uh, league in the world. And on top of that, we have Antonio Conte. Yeah. We have Harry Kane, Kieran Son. If we can build the best squad, have the best manager, have the best stadium, have the best training ground. We already have the best stadium and the best training ground. Yeah. Who beats us on training ground? Uh, Leicester? No one cares about Leicester. Um, going back to Richarlison, though, I feel he's a very good Premier League pro proven um, player. He likes to get on the nerves of other teams a lot. Definitely. As a Brazilian. Yep. He, uh, I, I know he has angered me on multiple occasions as a Spurs fan. Uh, he, he can also bring in a lot of Brazilian and South American flair. Yeah. Just like Lucas and Emerson. Imagine having Richarlison, Emerson, and Lucas. All three the three pair of Brazilians. Um, what this does do for um, Tottenham, additionally, is it does open up the option for one of our current wingers to leave. Um, and Bergwijn. I think that'll be Steven Bergwijn, whose time at Tottenham has not lived up to what it's supposed to have been. I had he some joined... good days. But he wasn't consistent enough. I believe $26 million from PSV. Um, he came over here, scored on his debut, scored a couple times more that season, and then kind of just went on this long break until, like, Aston Villa last season or something like that. And then, again, last season he was 
left on the bench most of the time, didn't really get a lot of playing time, and now he is strongly linked with the move back to, uh, not back, back to the Netherlands, where he will play for PSG's basically, PSV's basic arch rival, uh, Ajax. So uh, he went, he was at PSV, then he went to uh, Tottenham Spurs. for two years. Now he's going back. And now he's going back to PSV's rivals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top dollar stuff. Um, f going back on to Charleston, what's really important is the fact that he can play striker. I think you mentioned this. Yes. Is the fact that backup striker, a striker to play in Champions League. That's what we need. Yeah. But the thing is, we know we can trust him because we know how good he is, and he's not gonna just be like left on the bench like some backup strikers. Like if you buy like just a backup striker, they're gonna sit on the bench half the season because who's gonna displace Harry Kane? Yeah. What if you get? You get knocked out of the FA Cup first round. Yeah. Get knocked out of the Carabao Cup early. Yeah. And, but with Richarlison, he's also a winger. So he can... He has opportunities to play at any time. Which is very important because that means we've got quality on our bench. But that also means he's going to stay. He'll be happy here. And because he's good with the Premier League, I hope that he will turn out to be a success. Because this will be a huge transfer if we can turn him into a success. And... um. I'm excited for the future. Um, you know, who have we signed already? Fraser Forrester, which is an excellent backup. Perisic. Perisic. That is that is the pickup of the transfer window so far. Basuma. Basuma's great. Like 25 climax. million. 25 million. That's incredible. That's a great deal. And then to get Richarlison saw, like, completely, like, the deal just done within a week. Um, and uh, just done. $60 million. That is a beautiful, beautiful look to show that we are we mean business yeah, to the Premier Spurs. League. Um, so the total of the money that we've spent as Tottenham, I think, is around sixty plus thirty two. So around uh, sixty plus thirty, so around ninety million dollars have been spent out of Tottenham's budget. Don't forget, this includes the budget includes the one hundred fifty million uh, investment from Enoch at the start of the transfer window, as well as earnings from last season and the whole uh, stadium tickets and advertisements and whatnot and merchandise and uh, prize money for going into the Champions League. I'm sure there is. Um, so that I, I have a feeling the transfer budget is probably around $160 million, uh, at least with the 150 going into the club just for transfers. I think 160 is probably the number. So we still have a lot of money uh, the, to, to play around with. And another big move that's happening... Not to with, play around with, but to be used yes. properly. <laughs> um, the, but the biggest... and uh, Another move that is linked with Tottenham right now is Clomont Longley. Uh, the French, I believe, French center back? Frenchman, yeah. Uh, from Barcelona is uh, very highly likely to join Tottenham Hotspur on a loan um, with an option to buy. I think the loan fees will be around $6 million, but we'll talk about it more in a later video. But... Um, very happy with the Charleston. Um, if you could be, sh please, please comment down below what your thoughts on signing for Charleston are, um, what your predictions are, how many goals he'll get next season, how many assists, how many appearances, whatever you want to uh, predict. Uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and please help uh, subscribe to help us get towards a thousand subscribers. That's a crazy number. But we're not that far off. Only 240 subscribers away from the big 1K. So please, please, please help us out by subscribing to the channel. And until next time. Come on, you Spurs!